for three months they did an analysis and NGO did an analysis of the content on the front pages and on prime time shows of the TV channels. 0.1% was the percentage of rural news coverage on all the platforms and the percentage of people who live in rural areas is like 80%. So you had this Lakme Fashion Week for one week and it was covered by 500 accredited journalists from across the India and at the same time it's a one hour drive to another town where uh, in the same state people have committed suicide. These are the farmers who committed suicide since 1995 till 2018 because they are under loan. They have loans taken from the government and banks but they can't repay it. Right? So they are living in a terrible situation. But who is going to tell the story? The interest of the media, mainstream media is in telling the story of a Lakme Fashion Week. Tatsächlich berichten während der Fashion Week deutlich weniger Medien über die Suizide als über die Modenschau. There is disparity. I mean, media is not giving coverage to the rural issues because it does, it's not relevant to them. Sajjad Rasool ist Videojournalist und Aktivist aus Kashmir in Indien. Er produziert dort Nachrichten für die Grassroots-Plattformen Kashmir Unheard und Video Volunteers. Netzwerke, die sich besonders auf die medial unterrepräsentierten ländlichen Regionen Indiens konzentrieren. India is a population of 1.3 billion people and it has like 600.000 villages spread across India in 29 states. The total population which lives in rural India is like 69% of the total population. And if you see, so all the rural area is, is not having any such media platform. Durch das Netzwerk Video Volunteers soll sich genau das ändern. Dafür werden Menschen aus kleineren Kommunen von Video Volunteers in 14-tägigen Seminaren ausgebildet. Später sollen sie dann mit Videos über Themen berichten, die sie in ihrem Alltag direkt betreffen. Ohne Fernsehteam, oft nur mit einem Smartphone. So our model is to give them voice actually. You know? We train them, we can't afford OB vans, we can't afford satellite news channels, but we are trying to use the cheap media technology tools to empower them and so that they tell their own stories. Die Produktion von Nachrichten soll jedoch kein Selbstzweck sein, sondern noch einem anderen Ziel folgen. So we train them to make evidence in video as whatever is happening around them, they shoot it on their mobile phones. And that evidence is then used further to do advocacy. It does not stop here. But it's also about, you know, using that evidence with the authorities and putting some pressure on them to resolve issues. Und das mit Erfolg. Nach Angaben des Netzwerks führt jedes vierte Video dazu, dass ein Problem gelöst wird. They shoot a story on it and then they approach the concerned local authority with the evidence on their phone. By doing this activism, it's an amalgam of two things. It's activism plus journalism. Eine Kombination, die für die Journalisten auch gefährlich werden kann, gerade wenn sie über sensible Themen wie Bad Governance, Korruption und Menschenrechtsverletzungen berichten. Während einer von Rasuls Recherchen platzt die Polizei plötzlich in eines seiner Interviews und nimmt ihn mit auf die Wache. Ihm wird ein Dokument gegeben, das er unterschreiben soll. You know, I was myself taken to the magistrate office and asked to file, sign a bond which said that we will not publish any unverified content. And when I asked the magistrate what's unverified content, please explain to me. She said, you know it. So we are using digital tools, very cheap tools, very open source software, like WhatsApp and other stuff, WeTransfer and Dropbox to send this content from one place to another. But at the same time, these are all insecure and these are not encrypted sources of you know, communication. Für vier Monate ist Rasul jetzt in Berlin. Er ist Teilnehmer des Stipendienprogramms zur Stärkung von Journalistinnen im digitalen Raum von Reporter ohne Grenzen. Hier lernt Rasul die Werkzeuge, die er braucht, um in Zukunft sicher mit anderen Journalisten in seinem Netzwerk kommunizieren zu können. Zurück in seine Heimat kann er dann als Trainer sein Wissen und das gesamte Netzwerk weitergeben. We have a network of 22 people in Kashmir and World and three people who are working in the office who are managing all the content distribution editing. It becomes an important thing for the whole network to, uh, to know, to learn more about digital security, to make themselves secure online, to use different encryption tools to do what they are doing. It's very important to learn it because there are a lot of challenges.